Hello, everyone. Good morning. I know. I wish sometimes you're like, no, 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 you can't call me. <laughs> I'm busy. No, 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 no. I have things to do and, and I cannot I, talk to you. I'm busy and I don't know who you are. So <laughs> you're absolutely not Double whammy. getting a response. Double whammy for that. Okay, I don't know if mine was in for a full cure, but I'm going to go for that much longer. Is yours in for a full, full cure? Uh, I believe so. Okay, great. Is that one mine? Yeah, it's yours. Oh, great. Did you do a second go? No. Okay, great. I'm just going to do the one. Okay, great. Is that done? Okay. All right. Hi. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. My name is Sarah. I'm Rachel. And we are here to show you the brand newbies. Ooh, ah. It's so great, actually. It's so pretty. Because we've talked about pigments a lot, and now there is a brand new collection of pigments. Look at these colors. So if you remember, here are all of the past ones where they were kind of pastels and things like that. Oh, um, there were some, bright. some brights and some pastel purples, this beautiful blue, uh, the lovely and very, very much needed Hawaii. It was absolutely mm -hmm. gorgeous. So these now come in these colors. Yay. And I'm so nice. excited about them. Which one's your favorite? Just right off the top. Um, Just point to it. Uh, <gasps> really? I'm right here. See these? These two are... I actually really love this and this. Literally, this is my color and palette of my house is these three colors. Really? Yes. <laughs> That's so great. I'm predictable. If nothing else. <laughs> Orange, yellow, green, done. I love it. I love it. So we're just going to tell you the names, and then as we show you them up close, we'll take them and put them to the side. We're going to work with these in just a little bit. Um, after we show you these colors, then we're going to actually swatch the new Winter Warmer. This actually has been available since Thanksgiving. It released on Black Friday. And although we're currently out of stock, we do have more en route. So we definitely wanted to give them their moment to shine. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a quick swatching of those six beautiful colors. Okay, so the first one. I love this one. This is a U color for This sure. one is like stunning. It's called Chili. Chili. <gasps> Mm. And it's just so. That, look, oh. These are so crazy pigmented. They really are. Yep, they're wildly pigmented. I will try not to do that on every single color, but I just wanted to show you, like, wow. Like, that is such an intense color. Yep. And it's beautiful. It really is. Love, love, love. This guy close. Chile. Chile. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, I guess I showed this guy. This is my, my favorites. Just this beautiful, kind of like a deeper goldenrod yellow. Um, I'll compare it with the, let's see, the first yellow that we got in the first compact pigments. Uh, oh, yeah, was yeah, this yeah. Guy, uh, Zanti. 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 I, Zanti. Uh, and this one how is fan, Morocco. How fancy are we going to be with our words today? Uh, very. Okay. But you can see it's like a very... The original one is a lot brighter, a lot more like a lemony yellow, where this one is a lot more of that like true golden uh -huh. honey yellow. It's yeah. a lot deeper. Honey yellow is beautiful explanation for it. Like, And again, that pigment is just beautiful. These are like eyeshadow. Isn't that crazy? I, yeah, I absolutely love that color. That yeah. is stunning. All right, next up, I'm going to choose the blue. This yeah, blue, yeah. I've already done a design using this blue, and it is absolutely gorgeous this is argentina Ooh. and it has a slight teal undertone but really i think it's like an indigo and In, no indigo Indi indigo not indigo that would indigo be a, has a little bit more purple to it but this is like a good like true like deep blue i don't deep know deep blue like what? a navy blue almost um, i'm trying to think what is that cerulean okay kind of it's really is a little bit bright. what did we call why delilah what color Damn. of blue like like a deep denim blue. Yeah. Ooh, it's just so rich and gorgeous. Yeah. Really Trying is. to find the words to describe these colors. I say but it's, it's like a, stunning. Like a dark wash denim. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh my. Okay. Be careful. <laughs> Be gentle. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. Uh, next up, this is Egypt. Yes, it is. That's that's a perfect. Isn't name that for it. gorgeous? Just this beautiful kind of like a brick, rusty orangey red. I don't know, it's a little bit in between a red and an orange, but it is that perfect, like, rust color. That is so pretty. So pretty. I love that. I love, love, love. And I also like that this collection, I mean, really, you could do all kinds of different ombre work. Yeah. You can pair these colors together. They go really nicely. Uh, you know, it's not just yeah. a pastel and a bright and whatever, but they yeah. actually really go well together. I really like, though, that they go along with the colors with that the they have already previous come out colors. with. Mm -hmm. like, 
the yellows and the oranges and greens and blues like this is from the last collection like you can still yep. pair it with these greens and stuff i i really like that they're yep. very cohesive collections gorgeous now this one we were a little bit rough accidentally dropped them so they are a little fragile so just be be gentle with them but this is japan and this yeah. is a mauve this is a pale mauve it's like a um, like a cherry blossom pinky mauve yeah yeah good description i like that it's just so pretty that is so pretty this is a me color like i could put it on my cheeks like oh look it's you perfect. should that is a you color isn't that beautiful this is the color of lipstick that i always buy i love this color it's like your grandma's mauve yeah that's it stunning <laughs> stunning uh this guy is this beautiful deep i love this color too. Uh, what kind of red would you describe so this many as colors. because it's like a soft like a rosy like a dusty rose like a dusty rose yeah mm -hmm. uh this is malaysia this is just a beautiful tone of red it's just like very soft it's not super bright like um like this first one which was chili this? chili mm -hmm. uh it's not super bright like this very very muted subtle color but this one with paired with this other bricky orange oh, like yeah. these two together yeah beautiful yeah mm. beautiful malaysia gorgeous Love colors it. all right next up i'll take up the plum this is india oh yeah I love India the reminds of me of the plum pudding, yes. which is the gel polish color. Except when we are talking about having to do ombre work or pigment work, using these types of pigments versus, yeah. oh, so this Very is a little similar. deeper. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. I like it. But I love using pigments. We're going to show you some ombre stuff in a minute. But it's just, it's so much easier to work with pigments. Like, mm. Yeah. And I love that they're compact, so then they're not super messy. Yeah. Love it. It is so much nicer because, like you can see, we just wipe it off on the... On the towel and that's it yep that's that's all the mess you get gorgeous um this is a beautiful this is vietnam this is a beautiful wow. deep brown but it's very i don't know it's very dimensional it's not just like a brown brown it's very rich cocoa-y has a little bit of like a red purpley undertone what's the name of that one uh vietnam oh it's so pretty yeah but this is a stunning stunning brown not not super dark either like like it's it definitely, definitely, I think that like that should help show up that deep. it has some red in it. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful color. Yeah, it's definitely deep, but it's not like the blacks. Oh, yeah, it definitely has some red purple to mm -hmm. it. Yeah, Gorgeous. That's a beautiful, beautiful color. Next up, we'll do Malta. This one is like a Ooh. milk chocolate. Yeah. Milk chocolate brown. That's beautiful. I mean, it just really is. It's just gorgeous. I love that. I Delicious. love that tone of brown. That works really well, I think, with this new collection. With too. the new collection with, like, that we're going to watch. Choc chip and mm -hmm. chai latte. Yep. Uh, I will take this guy. This is China. And this is a beautiful kind of like a... It's like a grayish. Like a grayish, kind of like a beigey gray, if you don't know what that is. Um, but it's just like a warm-toned medium gray. Like, it's just beautiful. Just very... It reminds me of Lady Jane know. Grey. If yeah, you pair it nicely yeah, with, with that type of color. Definitely very similar. Or even like a... a Wonelli, is that the color? Uh-huh, yeah. That, that one has that purpley color yeah. to it. And pairing this with that, it would just be beautiful. Yeah, very similar. I like that. Especially since people are going much more muted with their Christmas tones yeah. and things. Um, they're using these muted greens versus the bright greens. Mm -hmm. They're Which using I the muted browns. I really appreciate mm -hmm. it. As a non-traditional Christmas lover, and then come that. January, people move into that grayish movement. So that that gray. What, yeah. what what was the name of that? That one? was China. China. Yeah, gorgeous. All right, next up, we'll show Israel. Israel is a darker brown, it's more like a seventy percent cocoa. We'll show with these. Oh, that's not the one. If I were okay. This is it with Vietnam next to it. So you can see this Vietnam is definitely a little bit more of that like reddish brown and Malta is definitely more of like a that milk chocolate. Um, yeah, that orangey cocoa brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to show this one in action in just a little bit. Again, this was Israel. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to take Costa Rica. Just this I, beautiful. When the um pigments right before they came out i got the pictures of them and this color i was like oh 
stop me in my tracks. Like it's so stunning. It is so pretty. Just this beautiful, deep, I don't know, foresty green definitely feels like it should be part of a tropical lush yeah. forest. Like, mm -hmm. like that is just, Ooh, that is so pretty. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. That is such a beautiful tone I of wish, green. I wish these were eyeshadow. I'm wow. not going to lie. <laughs> Because that I want to use that. so pretty. Yeah, wow. I love that. Love, love, love. Costa Rica. All right. Next up is Kenya. Kenya is going to be the pale nude. Mm. That's beautiful. Of this set, which is gorgeous. What was the pale nude over there? Let uh, me find it if I can find it. This one? Yep, yep. That's it. This is Bali. And Bali is definitely a little bit lighter and a little bit more peachy. peachy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is more of like a true nude. Mm-hmm. Doesn't really have very much pink in it. Mm hmm Very pretty. Yeah, love that. Again, that was Kenya. And the last, but certainly not least, is Croatia. Again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. green. Uh, definitely a lot lighter, more on like the light sagey side, um, where Costa Rica was a lot uh, deeper. This is just a lot lighter. Isn't that more gorgeous? Muted. It's just beautiful. Could even be minty. I'm so excited for the release of these. That's so cute. The release of the new pigments. I was like, oh, that's how I felt about it. Yay! Yeah, yeah absolutely. Because they are so easy to use, and they are fun and create something different. Um, I just. I yeah. think the pigments are fantastic. Yeah. And okay. I, I think they're very, like, user-friendly. Oh, like, once so you know much. how to use them, like, they're, it's so nice to yeah, throw that in your Yeah, for art. sure. So much. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit because we're about to start swatching the brand new mm -hmm. Winter Warmer collection, which let's pull those out real fast. Uh, real quick. Do oh, you yeah. know what was the inspiration behind all the countries as the names? I don't please? know. I don't know, but I'll definitely ask Mrs. Magpie. Maybe she's running out of first names maybe or maybe this is more of a glitters. series maybe yeah 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 where pigments so. are different than glitters and mm -hmm. foils are different than glitters and yeah polishes are different yeah I like it. but uh, i can i'll theme. definitely ask but this is the new winter warmer collection again this released on black friday uh i believe currently we are out of stock of the full collection if we have any of the individual colors i'm actually not entirely sure but i know that more is en route mm -hmm. so the full collection will come back and we will have more stocked if any of the individual colors are out of stock. Mm -hmm. So we are going to go through and swatch these beauties. We've actually been using them here in the salon a lot. Yes. Uh, and we do have some major faves. So we'll talk about those in just a second. All right. I'm, the first one I'm going to do is chai latte. It's this beautiful... It does have a gray undertone, mm -hmm. but it's this beautiful, like, pale milk chocolate beautiful color and all of these colors pair so nicely with uh the mother nature which we will get out and and show you the swatches of those but i think it's just like a continuation of that theme of colors mm -hmm. just this kind of same tones so mm -hmm. they all just work so well together it works so beautifully together full coverage in one coat Stunning application. It's a little bit warmer in person than it's coming off on camera. Is it? And it's not that dark. On camera, it's coming off a little bit darker, but it is more of like a true, like a medium brown. Gorgeous. Like chocolatey brown. Gorgeous color. <clears throat> Next up, we've got delicious choc chip. Choc chip? This is... Here, before I put this in, let's oh, show the differences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Difference. Yeah. Because this one's definitely a lot more like a orangey brown. A lot warmer little bit deeper but this is just like a very fun I don't know it's like a deep I don't know like a brown sugar syrup kind of brown I'm trying to come up with uh, food descriptors because that's the easiest way for me to describe things that feels delicious right mm-hmm brown sugar syrup mm. it's very rich it yeah. really is a very rich brown too yeah, I will say on camera, it's darker, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And it's a little more orange than it's coming off on camera, but... Beautiful. I wish our lighting in here would agree with us, because that's our biggest qualm with swatching in this place. 
All right, next up is Cinnamon Swirl. I love this one. This one has more orange to it. It's definitely more of like a cinnamony reddish orange. That reddish cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I love this color. I just put this on my mom. Did you? And it is <gasps> so good. I bet that was a gorgeous manicure. I want this on my nails. I really like the orange tone to it. It doesn't feel orange like a fall orange. It just... Because I think there's more red yeah. in it, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. And so it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a September or October color. Yeah. It feels like I'm wearing something appropriate for the winter. Yeah. And if you... Oh, like some cute, like, gingerbread nails with that. Oh. That would be so cute. That would be a win. Because it's, yeah, kind of that spicy brown. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. I love that. Um, who am I doing? I'm going to do this guy. I'm going to do plum pudding. Which I already showed just a, for a second next to the pigment. But this is just a beautiful, deeper, kind of, yes, plum, uh, aubergine, if you will. Yeah, that's a good word for yeah, it. Yeah, just mm -hmm. like this gorgeous, gorgeous purple. I love this tone of purple. This is the kind that I can, I will use this all the time. Wow. And the pigmentation of these is just beautiful. And they're so nice to work with. Formulas. Incredible. Creamy, smooth, buttery. All of the Magpie the Gels are a 60-second cure, and they are HEMA-free. So if you have clients who are sensitive to HEMA, then the Magpie line is definitely an option for you. Love that. Beautiful color. Good old plum pudding. All right, we have two remaining. Do you want to do that one? Sure. All right, I'll do this one. Mud Pie. This one has a fun color. Mud Pie, when I, when I found out the name, I was like, so is it a brown? But it's not. Kind of. It it's is. Like a, it's like a like a clay almost. Like a clay. Yep. A green clay. Hmm. Aren't really you just, just? You're mesmerizing to look at. I just love. A, it really is such a unique color, though. Why are you not closing any of your bottles? I was busy. This is gonna drive me. I was. Wall. I was no. busy. <laughs> I was. I was. I was protecting I'm the scared. light from you. I was scared. Over. I will do my best. I'll shut them in a minute. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that tone. It's of, like a green, a brown, a gray. Yeah. All of them all, of them all in there. Gorgeous. Mm. Let's come up close so you can really see. Beautiful. But it is still very, very neutral. I like that. It's not like a. You taught me that green color. was a neutral. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, it is. Love it. Green is my favorite neutral. Is it? Mm hmm. I'm not a gray person. I mean, I love black and I love like beige and brown and whatnot, but I love green. I love just to pair it with everything. Spice it up. Uh, last but not least, we've got this delicious black forest, which is a Rich green, but it is and almost deep black. And it is sexy. So it really is and sexy. It's just so rich just and so. Just moody. Mm, moody, yeah, moody. Mm -hmm. It is good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so pretty. One. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. That is so pretty. Ooh, yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, that's good. Moment of silence for this beautiful color. Uh -huh. It looks a lot more like a straight black on camera, but in person there is just a tinge of that deep foresty green. This one is just such a cool color. So if you like all of these like deep, moody, dark, wintry colors, this one is a it's definitely a winner. Winner, winner. I think the whole collection is a winner. Yeah, it really Which, does. Which let me take work. out. Like here's Gypsy Lee and Willow Tree. And there's and this Rosemary one and Time right here. Compared to, here's Rosemary and Time. So this is from the Mother Nature collection that released earlier this year in January. And then this is just a continuation. Do you see how it just kind of pairs with it? And then will you take out Black Forest real fast? Mm. Out of the lamp? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there you go. Yeah. Like how beautiful. So, yeah, same like same tone. They all work together. They're more that like neutral earthy set. 
they gorgeous. They work so well together. And yes, if you don't have this <gasps> Gypsy Elite. Yeah, if you don't have this entire collection, huh? Seabreeze, mm -hmm. also in this collection. Absolutely yeah, gorgeous. Mother Nature. And then Mud Pie. Or um, um, Winter Warmer, I'm sorry. Beautiful collections. Yeah, sea breeze. Yep, go for it. So you can see. I just want to put this whole collection next to that whole collection. <laughs> but like there's... Mm, like all those greens and that sea breeze. So beautiful. Gorgeous. And then we grab the browns. I so will. Compare. There you go. All right. Let's see. From this past collection, we've got... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I were not Meg, I would be right there. And Claire's mud. And then somewhere, Cocoa Bean is in, I think, the reds, but it's okay. Uh, but that is, these two are from that same collection earlier this year. And then these are from this one. So, yeah, they all Look work how beautiful that so is. well together. Oh my gosh. That's like the. Hang on. That's like the perfect ombre. Just of, like that. Of browns. So pretty. I accidentally dropped that in some dust, you see? Oops. Yeah, that's all right. Oops, that's okay. all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are so pretty together. Oh, I love so good. Those. So the Winter Warmer is the newest collection. Again, that one released on Black Friday. And then the other one that we're comparing it to is called Mother Nature, for mm -hmm. those of you who might be searching the website for it. So you can get all of these products at magpiebeautyusa.com. Or on the Magpie USA app. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before we before we leave, before we end for today, we wanted to do a little bit of nail art using the brand new pigments. So we have prepared a couple of swatches in preparation for having a little bit of fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so the first one that I wanted to show is how easy an ombre would be. So I've started with Nutmeg as my base color. And then I'm going to go in with Israel. Beautiful. So to make an ombre, what I need to do is remove the tacky layer from my gel polish. Mm -hmm. So you never want to put, we're going to be ombre on top of Velvet Top, which is a matte top coat from Magpie. And you never want to apply your matte top coat to a sticky layer because it will gather that inhibition layer. And that's just going to make for a shiny, um, velvet top so mm -hmm. you are not going to be pleased with that don't want like a build up of that shiny in the bottom yeah definitely not rachel's just stir stirring our velvet top real fast so that i have fresh 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 stir all right thank you beautiful okay so remove your tacky layer now I'm just going to put on a thin layer of Velvet Top. Velvet Top is not one of those top coats that you can use to correct shape mm -hmm. or to fill in any bumps and lumps. You want just a very thin layer of your Velvet Top. And then you want to give this a full 60 second cure. So I'm going to put that in the lamp. And actually, I'm going to make sure that I got the top because I'm going to be ombre from the top down so i want to make sure that all of it is covered all right and we go for a 60 second cure in the magpie lamp which today actually starts our 12 days of christmas so today Yay. the magpie lamp which we use and love is on sale for 10 percent off so you can use the code holly jolly so um ways you can find out about what the 12 days are so each day there will be a new product available at a discount on the Magpie USA website or on the app. Uh, you want to sign up for the emails, which you can do on the website or in the app. Mm -hmm. So that's where you're going to learn about it first. And other than that, you can watch our Instagram for all of the details. But today starts the days, and we're so excited that the lamp is on sale. The lamp is incredible. Ten out of ten. Two thumbs up. If you don't have it, you need it, and you should get it. Love, love, love. Can't say enough good about it. I have to take my We've used mini lamps over the years, mm -hmm. and the Magpie lamp is our favorite. It really is. For it's so many just reasons. Incredible. It's not super hot, so not even talking about curing product, but like the inside of the lamp isn't super hot for the hand. Mm -hmm. um, even after like a full day of doing nails, at yeah. the end of the day, it's not like. It's still not like temperature boiling hot. temperature in there, which we love. Um, it does have an auto start and an auto off. You can also just turn it on, make mm -hmm. sure that you turn it on all the way. So that's a really nice feature. So the Magpie Lamp, fabulous. 
Okay, so taking some of this Israel pigment on my applicator brush, and I'm going to start at the top because I want to ombre downward. So I'm going to start where the cuticle would be and just kind of drag that product down. And now I should preface that I don't do ombres very often. Mm -hmm. So I was being very brave to show this on the live. Very brave. Very brave because I'm not somebody who does this. So, but I wanted to see how easy it was even for a newbie like myself. Um, I'm going to wipe off some of the product that is in my bristles so that I have less as I go down. Because I think that that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It does. Okay. Good, good, good. And then I'm just going back and forth just with a tapping motion and fading it down. Now if I wanted it darker, I'm going to just pick up a little more, start at the top again. Okay. All right. Not bad. Not bad for my first try. Good job. Thank you. Now I want to just soften the ending. So I'm going to take off everything I can out of my bristles and just soften up the bottom so that it's a little bit more seamless. Mm -hmm. And now I have a couple of options. I can go in with a layer of give me strength. I can go in with a layer of like a diamond. I could go in with a layer of velvet top. <clears throat> depending on what I wanted the last finish to be. So what I could do is once I top coat this, I could put nail art on top of it, or I could maybe put some stars and then, or some snowflakes and then chrome them. So there's lots of options from here, mm -hmm. but for the sake of the tutorial, I think what I'm going to do is go in with a layer of give me strength. Now, when we are covering up, do you want your duster? Your soft dust. So, no. No. Um, no, I think I've taken off all of my excess. I've worked it all down. Okay. Um, so when we are working with pigment, we want to make sure that we float that product, the next product on. Mm -hmm. You don't want to drag your bristles through it because it will take the pigment with it. So it doesn't, mm, velvet top is porous, mm -hmm. but it isn't like gripping it. But it is a great sandwich for the pigment. So I, I want to just be sure that I have enough product that I'm able to float my bristles on rather than drag through. And this of course has glitter in it and that's okay. Always. When do they not? But it also is nice to throw glitter on there. It kind of diffuses your, um, your ombre in case you have any parts that are like catching your eye that are like imperfect, just yep. throw some glitter on it. Yep, that's always a good answer. Which I don't know if you can see the glitter, but it's a really fine micro glitter that's in there and then I think I have one piece of red right there <laughs> and that's okay it's fine but tis the season easy ombre right and now the the it's it's limitless what you can do from nail art from here so okay. gorgeous easy 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 love it and I, I, I already forgot what I wanted oh, one to thing, do one thing I wanted to mention is that if I had chosen to do my ombre from the free edge up I would want to give like a buff to the free edge just like if we were doing chrome mm -hmm. that way when i cap over then that give me strength has something to adhere to but since i started at the cuticle i just need to make sure that i cover the cuticle area and then swipe it forward yeah um and while you're doing that i am going to velvet top this nail i've got just a layer of baby blossom and we're gonna use that as our background, but like she did, I'm just covering this with a thinner layer of the velvet top just to give our pigments a nice base to stick to. And there's lint always. All right, and we throw it in the whole time. Beautiful. Um, and I will say, um, pay attention to, if you're doing pigments on more than just one nail, I, I will say work quickly, um, once you put your velvet top on, because it only stays that like warm oh, grippy. grippy for so long mm -hmm. before you have to do it again. So if you're wanting to stick things to it, work a little bit quicker that makes or sense. just do like one finger at a time. 
a very good tip. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't really know what I want to do. We're gonna just fart around until we make it happen. But... I can't wait to see what you create. <laughs> wow, that's a fun palette. Oh, that's yours. So this is Malaysia, Egypt, and Morocco. Beautiful. Yeah. It's Beautiful colors. My kind of color wow. Palette. <laughs> um, and I think I'm so I'm going to start with my lightest color first because when you're using pigments, you want to start with your lightest color so that you don't have to um, work all of the dark out of your bristles before you throw something lighter on. Um, but I'm just gonna do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do like a three color ombre going down. So I'm gonna start with my lightest color at the top and I wanna work kinda quick because I don't want it to lose that grippy while it's cooling off. And then I'm gonna kind of dust out what I can, grab this mid color, work it into that yellow. I don't have a ton on my brush because I'm not covering a whole lot of space, but I'm kind of just dabbing it in that space in between the yellow and this orange. A little bit more, drag it down just a tiny wow. bit. That's warm and delicious, isn't it? It really is. And then grab my red. It's kind of almost like a pinky. It's got a little more of that like a little bit pinky, of, mm -hmm. rosy tone to it than I thought. I like that. Mm. Beautiful. Right. And then add a little bit more orange, blend them together. It's so easy to work with, that isn't it? It really is. And you always want to use a very light hand when you're removing. Mm -hmm. uh, you just need to remove the excess. Don't, don't again, don't yeah. dra drag through the pigment. I'm not being, I'm not using hard pressure when I'm dragging over it. Like she said, I'm, I really am just like barely touching it to dust off any of my excess. Cute, cute, cute. I like it. I like it. Uh, from there, I'm going to add, mm -hmm, mm, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to just go over with a layer of give me strength like she did with her last one. So if this was on a human, you would need to oh, yeah. do that free buff, edge. Buff mm -hmm. your free edge. Yep. Sorry, forgot about that. It's fine. She's probably going in the garbage anyways. Well, for the live, but yes. definitely I just need, you know, nail techs who are not here. Yes. To know all the details. I want the, their Absolutely. manicures to last. Absolutely. Gorgeous. Okay, up there. That, that um, is so pretty. Of course, my Gimme Strength has glitter in it too, so that's fine. I think mine has a lot more than yours. <laughs> I don't know if I have a clear give me strength that I, doesn't have glitter in yeah, it currently. Because so we always use it for because encapsulating. Because I use it as a glitter glue every yeah. day. Yeah. And then over that, I am actually going to mix some lacy with some give me strength and do kind of like a little uh, snowy moment. It's going to be real cute. Can I have a palette? palette around here around I, these parts I absolutely do here you go thanks bud. you're welcome so we're gonna grab just a little dot of gimme strength mix a little bit of lacy into this I don't need a lot so that's about good take our little spatula mix it together I usually use a brush for this so this is interesting Nice, nice. Beautiful. And lacy. Yeah. Lacy is such a good one to yeah. have. If you don't have lacy and you're wanting to do, like, mimic that kind of, like, falling snow without having to, like, hand paint a bunch of dots, this is perfect. This is so perfect. Mm -hmm. um, can I just use any of your brushes? Do you have a... Here's the illustrator. Okay. Well, your glitter detailer has seen better days, but we're going to use it. Probably has black in it, knowing my luck. <laughs> um, and... I'm going to show you what it will look like a couple of different ways because you could just do like a cute little ombre with this. Beautiful. And that is just so fun and it 
but it kind of covers up a lot of that yellow and I really like the yellow so I want to show it more. So that's what it would look like if you were to do just like a little snowy ombre or we can just cover the whole nail and have it just be some scattered snow all over the nail. It really feels wintry once you put that on there. Right. I mean, that just makes me feel like, oh, dreamy. Right. Um, kind of feeling like I want to do um, like winter sunset silhouettes Ooh. like we do with like tropical nails, you know, with Wouldn't like your be? black outline of like palm trees, but instead do like, I don't know, like a snowman or oh. some, I don't know, some cute. Just some cute little like wintry silhouettes. That feels know. so cute like and wintry. And then I'm gonna throw this in the light the whole time, and then I'm going to go in with my mat over the top of this. Oh my gosh, really? So it'll just that be is gonna be so cute. So cute and wintry. All right, I'll throw that in. Love it. <clears throat> and I'll top coat off camera so you can. Take I your love in. it. Okay, so the last design I have. I'm going in with this cat got the cream. I've just taken off the inhibition layer and now I'm going to apply my velvet top. The reason why I didn't velvet top while Rachel was talking was because you only have so long while that velvet top is warm and grippy and I'm gonna be doing pigment so I needed it to be fresh. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just get this in the lamp and remember velvet top thin layer mm -hmm. and then give it a full 60 second cure. Um, Rebecca Pritchard says, hey Rebecca. from the UK. Hi, Hi, Rebecca. Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for being here. All right, then I'm going to go in with Argentina, which is that blue that I was raving okay. about. <sighs> Why oh, are you so pretty? It really is so stunning. Why are you so gorgeous? In case you didn't know, uh, blue is Sarah's favorite color. So it sure is. when she oozes and awes over all these blues. It speaks to me. It really is. Her and then we're going to cover that, not cover it. We're going to do kind of like an ombre but like blue and then blue and then and then we're going to put nail art over it. Mm. So then we're going to go in with Bahamas to kind of lighten that up and give it a bright winter day feel. And then we're going to do just a little bit of nail art to jazz it up. I like it. Yeah. I'm excited. Sounds like a real good time. I think, I hope it will be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to get these two ready. You could even then go in with white to make it a little bit more pale, but I, I want to keep in the blue family, so I'm not going to use the Maldives. I'm just going to keep with the two blues. Okay, so here we go. So the first color I'm going to do, and I just need a little bit on my applicator brush, and I'm going to just start making a background. Isn't that pretty, though? I mean, oh, it's like grayish, like bluish, dark. You can make it as dark as you want. Um, the nail art that I worked on last week with these, it was much darker than this was. Whose did you do? Um, it was those five finger designs that I was doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm I was like, I didn't know you did nails. <laughs> so if I just keep patting more color on this, I'll make this one really dark. But you can make it darker and darker and darker. So don't be afraid. All right, now what I'm gonna do is take all of my pigment out of my applicator brush and I'm gonna go in with Bahamas and I'm just going to pat that over it into the centers so that my outside is dark mm. and then my inside is light. Cute. Cute. Like a kind of aura yeah. kind of design. Yep. I like that. Super cute. Okay, now I'm going to put a velvet top coat over top of this. And oh, velvet top yes, just keeps getting again. handed around. <laughs> again, when we when we top coat over the pigments, you want to make sure that you have enough product that you can float your bristles over. Mm -hmm. so you're not we don't dragging. have to leave all of this oops because otherwise what happens is that. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to wipe that off onto my table towel and Use the product that's on here to kind of just drag through. Why is our door keep shaking? There we go. So I've taken off all of the excess. 
Beautiful. So now we have a nice thin application. I'm going to give that a full 60 second cure. And this little thing, don't worry about little things like that because we are going to be putting snowflakes so we can cover that with something and oh, nice. make it look intentional. Cute. Uh, this guy has been top coated, matted. Oh, that is so and just cute. How fun does that look? Now That's what you could do is go in with either gel paint black or white and make that silhouette like you were talking about yeah. because yeah. those that would leave a shiny element on top of it yeah um you could really just get creative yeah possibilities are endless mm -hmm. but i love ombre with these because it's so easy because they're like powdery rather than working with gel um it really just is very user friendly so if you haven't done that yet try it out it's a good time the winter pigments mm -hmm. are a good place to start they really are beautiful you okay, like some neutrals. So I am going to prepare my nail art brush today. I'm going to be using the striper. And we're just going to use the striper and the white gel paint, which we actually just got a brand new one. <gasps> wow. Fresh so and new. Nice. Doesn't have any other colors in it. Amazing. That's amazing. That won't last long. <laughs> Isn't that funny? When we start fresh. Okay, so. I can go in just with my gel paint, get my bristles all ready. This is gonna be exciting. I like yes, to it just is. watch you paint. Thanks, I'm so glad you feel that way. I don't get the chance to do it very often, so sometimes yeah. I get nervous. So Rachel yeah. saying that helps me feel better. Yeah, I'm Okay. So glad. So, <clears throat> I almost did it like a spider web style, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> So I want to have a central spot to start in. And we could do the dot um, snowflakes, which are very popular this year. Or we could do the traditional. I want to have a thin. See, that keeps getting a little too thick for me. So we could do the X style. Mm hmm Don't mind our uh, Hallmark movie in the background. Hmm. What is your favorite kind of snowflake? I have been doing the same kind of like the six, the six arm one mm -hmm. on everybody this year. Uh, and then just like changing up the style of little... I don't know, like the little elements that come off the little branches. Adorable. But I like a little six arm, six leg, whatever. It's just been so much easier to not have eight. Mm-hmm. I've already kind of made mine special, but we're going to just go with it. Okay. We're going like to go with starburst. it because this is, uh-huh, like a starburst style. Mm -hmm. Yep. And no two are the same. Absolutely not. Yeah. So it's fine. So now I could go with straight ends rather than dotted ends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cute. Still looks like dainty. Ooh, you know what? That kind of is like... Don't stick your finger in it. Thank you. <laughs> You're very close. Go well, this way. Almost as like a mid-century kind of snowflake thank you yeah. <laughs> sorry it's like shaking the table uh, so snowflake number one down Cute. now we just carry on and snowflake number two this one where i think we are going to do the dots on this guy would you like a dotting tool no thanks okay It's like the best way to do a snowflake. It's just so It's easy. so easy. The only trick that I can tell you about doing dot snowflakes is that you have to use the lightest touch mm -hmm. when you drag through. That's all. And have as little product as you can. Um, another tip would be that the middle dot has more product. So like if I had made this guy bigger. 
because then you can use less product on your bristles mm -hmm. and instead pull product from the center out like this. And that allows you to have even less pressure. Oh. All right, I'm gonna give that a quick lock so that I don't drag a finger through it. Smart, very smart. I actually haven't minded doing snowflakes this year. No? Not yet. That's so good. We'll see how long that lasts. Another thing you could do is instead of all of them hand-drawn, you could use the snowflake stickers. Oh, yeah. Number 140 comes in all the colors. And they're um, so And you cute. can just lay the snowflake sticker right over top, and voila, you'd be done. All right, I think, hmm, I think I'm going to do the cross one. Yeah, there's something just very satisfying about watching somebody else do this. Because I'm one of those weirdos that, like, doesn't go home and watch nail videos. No? No, what stays at work, what oh, happens at work stays at work. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I don't watch nail videos when I leave. But I like to watch people when I'm here. really is like a cool method of like having just like that interesting unique background for each snowflake mm -hmm. even if you did like different colors as like your little dot for each of them i behind, agree that yep. would be so cute yep especially um the new pigments that just came out how they go so well together the mm -hmm. greens would be so cute as a yeah. background add a little the blues. yellow one mm -hmm. yep yeah. yep for sure that'd be so fun okay now over the top of this one not because I don't like it, but because I want to show you the possibilities. Mm -hmm. I am going to put the hollow top it off glitz. So this one does have a holographic hit in it. This one is so fun. I love this one so much. Um, we often say like, if you are feeling unsure about the nail art, then put a glittery top coat over top because it will diffuse the light. So I just want to make it clear. Like, I do think this is cute. I'm not yeah. trying to hide anything, but I do want to show you just the effect of it. And I think, like, with that style where it's, like, very dainty, wintry, like, I think every kind of design like that could benefit from a hollow touch. I agree. Like, that just looks so good. It just feels more wintry when you have some sort of glitter, glitter in it. Sparkle. It's just gorgeous. All right, we'll put that in this took year and to be honest i had forgotten about that little guy so i should have carried that through i should have had one here maybe one over here so that it feels like it all goes together mm -hmm. but since i already have a top coat on then okay. that's just where we practice and we take a look and we say hmm i really should have carried that idea through so make sure you're practicing before you put it on clients that way you can give them your best work all the time yeah. okay so i'm going to close up this gel paint and to recap, all of these products are available at magpiebeautyusa.com or on the Magpie USA app. Mm -hmm. And today we all covered these, all these fun pigments. All the fun pigments. Aren't they beautiful? They really are so fun. I think they are gorgeous. Wow. Like they just are. Wow. Oh, this one yeah, actually just, is so pretty. I what mean, one are you? I Morocco. Like, yeah. You winner. Chicken dinner. I and they're like so that. pigmented. And I love that about the pigments as well. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then, Kylie oh, Nip yes. Kylie Nipko says she loves it so much. So, so pretty. Oh, yeah, that's cute and dainty. Cute and dainty. So On fun. this one, I put the gold top it off. Again, not because I thought the ombre needed something, but because I felt like gold with that brown was just going to be like. It, like ties it together. Delicious. Just and very And warm. you could call this nail art on its own. Yeah. And send, send your client on their way. And it's just beautiful. I love that. Beautiful. So cute. Pigments for the win. 
Then we also covered the brand new, these are all, <laughs> they're all a little sticky. bit. It's fine. Clumped, but that's they, okay. They've been uh, sitting here for a Look second. Look how beautiful they are. This is the new winter warmer collection. Mm -hmm. uh, and like I've said, more of these are en route. So if the full collection is not currently in stock, which I don't think it is, it will be back this week. Um, and any of the individual colors that might be out of stock will also be returning. Yay. So beautiful, beautiful collection. Gorgeous. And be sure to sign up for emails so that you can be aware of the 12 days of Christmas and what deals you can get on the Magpie website. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful mm -hmm. week. And uh, next week, oh, next week is a fun one. Next week we'll be in the app. So be sure to download the Magpie USA app mm -hmm. and join us there at 10 o'clock Mountain Time. And we will see you then. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.